In the summer of 1816, 200 years ago, Percy Shelley, Lord Byron, Mary Shelley, then Mary Wollstonecraft, and Godwin were together in Switzerland. There was an eruption of a volcano in the Dutch East Indies, changed the weather pattern for the entire world. So it was a terrible summer, and they're sitting around and they say, let's tell ghost stories. And Mary Shelley, who has had a horrible nightmare, starts to tell Frankenstein. She is only 18. She has escaped from her father's home in England, escaped with Percy Shelley. They won't get married until the latter part of 1816, when uh, Shelley's wife uh, conveniently commits suicide. So, I mean, the idea of creation, and especially the creation of children, the creation of a new being, is something that metaphorically and actually psychologically is very deep within her and gives that added emotional push to Frankenstein. The monster, the creature, wants Victor Frankenstein to, to recognize him. You know, I have this relationship to you. Victor Frankenstein says, oh, I've just created you, goodbye. The monster, however, wants his attention. So the idea of the parent who abandons the son, abandons the child, is very much part of uh, Frankenstein. And the reason that Frankenstein is a term that we still use for many and many other things is about the creation that turns on you. So Mary Shelley knew nothing about robotics, knew nothing about cloning, knew nothing about genetically modified food or all these things, but somehow her story of Frankenstein can encompass all of that.